Hello everyone, and welcome back to Amateur Hour Projects. Today we're going to take a look at the Roker Wooden Mechanical Music Box Starry Night. Alright, so I saw this and I thought it looked pretty neat. Looks like it's going to be really pretty when it's done. So it is a level 4 out of 5 stars on their scale, so it's probably going to be a little difficult, a little challenging. The music that it plays is Memory from Cats, the musical. So let's go ahead and we'll open it up, take a look and see what's inside. All right, looking at the instructions here and at all the different parts and pieces that we have, it looks like this is going to be a little bit more challenging than what I've done before. So try to be extra careful while we do this and we'll see how it all turns out. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so this was another fun build. A little bit more complicated than other other builds that, that I've done before. Lots of little moving parts and gears. But all in all it was uh, it was very enjoyable. First thing we do is we start with the base and we put the motor and music box in. Now this wood, like other Roker products, is fairly thick and strong. I wasn't too worried about damaging it, however I did still want to be careful as it is only thin wood. So we get a couple of these base plates down. Now we will need to use this, this hammer specifically. But uh, you see I'm kind of struggling getting this one little clip to slide over it. Just didn't want to slide over straight. So luckily they gave an extra one. I think there was something wrong with that one. And as soon as I used one of the spare ones, slid in perfectly the first time. Just a little, little tap there to make sure it was correct. Lots of individual pieces on this one. Now 
Now these big pieces here with the decorative little lines on the sides were very interesting. They're very fragile, the most fragile parts of this build. And I was worried and concerned about breaking them, especially when we had to pull them apart and maneuver them later, here in a, just a little bit. And we have to kind of spread them apart and push them into these little grooves. And I make it look easy, but it was a little difficult. Of course, you have to line them up for the next plate. Then we do pretty much the same thing on this next one. And these smaller ones were a bit harder to manipulate and get where they needed to be. And I do end up breaking one of them. I believe it was this one. Yep. But at the end product, the end you can't tell. So if you break something but it's still usable, make sure it looks nice and move on. No big deal. So with that completed, we have to fit it up onto the bottom portion. There we go. And you have to make sure that everything lines up perfectly in order to get these pieces on. And you see I struggle a bit. There we go. Next is a little bit of decoration. Now we start to put some of the gear stuff together. Now when I do these screws, and you'll see on uh, earlier, 
I don't screw one individual one all the way down first. Uh, I make sure that it is in there and it's not going to go anywhere. And then once I have all the screws in, uh, then you tighten them down. And that is a useful tip for any time you have multiple screws in, a, uh, in an object. Unless you're absolutely sure that it's not going to go anywhere. Now you'll see it's time for some wax. They want to wax all around this gear. And there is a lot of waxing in this particular build. I have lots of scraps left over. And I almost run out of the wax towards the end. Because they need you to wax every little piece. Every time you see me struggle putting a piece in, it was very difficult to fit these pieces together in general. They were all in there very tight, which is a good thing. That means that it won't go anywhere, won't move around. But it was still difficult to uh, get them in there. Now all these little tiny black uh, fittings, they want you to take a spare piece of wood and press it in there. Now I tried that It uh, later on, you'll see me try it at, at least, and it didn't work. I just ended up using the hammer, and that worked just fine. I absolutely have to use the hammer to get these uh, these bars in. Something I thought was interesting was that these, the little balls that make up the planetoids, uh, they just sit there on the ring, so you can easily remove them if you wanted to and change them out for a different color, as there are multiple different colors and extra pieces at the end. They let you do whatever you want. But it you just want to make sure you don't tip the whole thing over. And here we go with more waxing.
tried using the wood to press it in there and it was not working. So back to the hammer. A little bit more wax. So this piece is a measuring tool, and they want you to use that to measure precisely where these pieces go on these longer bars. It works well enough, and I think I got it towards the end there, uh, pretty much all measured out as they requested, but it was not easy to to do since that is very tight on the pole there. Now we go ahead and install the central pillar point gears, etc, etc there. Now I'm being very careful not to actually play the music so it's not spoiled for me. And I do notice uh, as I put it in that the central support is crooked making all those gears crooked. It's very slight and it's not easy to tell from here, but it does come into play later on. And it does make things not run as smoothly. And it came down to it being part of the uh, music box itself. Now, I don't think that's uh, any fault necessarily of uh, the manufacturer but it just I just happen to be unlucky and get one that was a little bit crooked so it does make it a little difficult for all these gears to turn uh, towards the end and I do my best to fix it off camera as best as I can but we will see it working moving on though now that the central pillar has been added, we go ahead and add 
more details to it and more uh, inner workings and, and gears. I don't know if it's specifically made for that, but that little cut in the bottom of the measuring tool, I use that as kind of a, a guide to push the bar further. Uh, I think what I'm looking at here is it wants that uh, the that little ball to be floating towards the top somehow with no instructions on how to get it to uh, that high. Now I could use one of those small circular bits but it does not show that in the instructions and I just end up leaving it. As I mentioned, it is very difficult to make sure that everything is lined up correctly. Just because it's so difficult to move them. And I'm running very dangerously low on wax. Uh, I realized I was supposed to <laughs> do that uh, through that main piece.
Alright, and more decoration for for around the central piece. I use the pliers here just to try to make sure that these pillars are in there securely. By this time my hands were a little, a little hurting from mashing all these pieces together. And another quick check to make sure that everything is still measured out properly before moving on to the next pieces. Now we fit it onto the main body. Checking to make sure that everything is aligned properly, that it's sliding in. Uh, it looks like I'm having a little bit of difficulty. There we go. More decoration. And this turns out very pretty. I really like this. And despite being incredibly careful here, I do break this last piece that I just put on. Luckily, it still is able to hold on to the peg that it sits on. We cut put a couple little balls on there. And there we go. It's looking mighty fine. All right, and there we have it. I definitely broke a few pieces there. But as long as the gears aren't damaged, everything looks like it should be good. So let's get a closer look at this thing, and we'll turn the music on, and we'll take a listen to it for a little bit. Alright, let's give a listen. Well, despite the few bumps that I had and having to reset the whole main gear system so it's more even, it still has a couple of snags there, but overall, I like this. It's very pretty. I definitely had fun making this. If you guys enjoyed this, Make sure to like the video and leave a comment telling me how bad I am at making things because uh, I keep breaking them. <laughs> or uh, any other projects that you might want to see happen. 
And as always, oh, and as always, thank you very much for watching. I hope you have a great day.